Hello and good morning. Today is officially our first day of homeschool for the 2021-2022 homeschool year. And <laughs> we are going to take you guys along with us today. We're gonna try a few new things. Um, I don't have my homeschool rooms 100% set up yet. I do need to buy a few more pieces of furniture for each room, but we are getting there, we're getting there. I think um, I'm going to try some new stuff with schedules this year. I think I'm going to try to do my morning basket with my littles first and then move on into morning time with my bigger kids after I um, give the little kids something to do so they're not just running around through the house playing with everything while we're trying to do school. I'll show you guys our current setup. Um, we will have donuts for second breakfast. My husband is gonna go pick them up some donuts in a little while. Uh, but we are excited to start our homeschool day, huh? Aren't we? Yeah. kids. I went ahead and I pulled everybody's binders out. We're going to make binder covers today for the binders that need them. Um, I've got their history binders, their spelling notebooks. My littles have their handwriting books out. I need to pull out the coloring books still. Here's another set over here with his math and his handwriting and his explode the code. This is my section. I'm not reading that um, that book behind the mixed up files. I just need to put that book up. But uh, my daughter did leave me a cute little note, so that will be sweet to open. And everybody else has all their stuff at the table. I will bring down the Littles morning basket. And we may or may not do the Bigs morning time up in our library. I haven't decided yet. Um, We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But we are, oh yeah, my daughter got into the letters for my um, letter board over there. So I got to pick those up and put away a few things. We may or may not do the wildlife bingo game. I just brought it out because it's something fun to do if we decide we want to play a game. And that is how we are going to get started with our day. that Greenland could not provide. In exchange for these things, Leif met King Olaf. The year was AD 1000, and things were changing in the Viking world. King Olaf had once been a- Sound doesn't work. So we have done our morning time, and we are working on independent work right now. Um, all the kids have pretty much done all of their morning time stuff. It went pretty fast today. Um, some of the younger kids are really excited about doing all of their independent work and they're doing lots of pages in their books. So that's a good thing, I guess. I'm about to do language arts and spelling with some of my um, older kids. 
and that's where we're at right now. I'm going to do a cupcake. <laughs> Ate it. You gotta hit the ooze. Mm. Mm. So our new schedule is working out pretty well. The kids are working on independent work and it's not even 11 o'clock yet, so that is good. We should be done with our day definitely by one. Um, probably done with most things before lunch. So that is a good thing. And uh, my five-year-old is working on reading eggs. We just started that this year. We're gonna see how that goes. <laughs> and yeah, we're, we're rocking right along with our homeschool day. I'm gonna give you guys a quick run through of how I do spelling with spelling power. So my third grader will be starting at the very beginning. I did go ahead and put his how to study a spelling word in here. But what we do is we just write, draw a line down the middle of the paper. And then over here I write test. And then over here I write learn. And then he's gonna be starting at the very beginning. <clears throat> so he will be working on level A. So I will just write level A up here at the top and then I will test him on these words and I will say the word and he'll write it down if he knows it. Um, if he gets it wrong then I'll put it over here for him to learn and then we'll work on learning those words throughout the week and then we'll test again at the end of the week and then we'll move on to the next group and so on and so forth. So it's really a pretty simple process. <clears throat> I mean I know Sometimes when you look at this book, it looks really intimidating, but it's it's not that bad, really. So, and it goes pretty quick as well. Okay, so real life. Here's what's going on. It is day two of our homeschool uh, week. First week of homeschool. And... I ended up stopping filming yesterday after we got the donuts. It was, it ended up being kind of a chaotic day. And um, even today, I'm still trying to figure out exactly what I'm going to do. Because essentially, I have two age groups that I'm homeschooling. I have an older age group, three, fifth, and sixth grade. Hey, be quiet. And then a younger age group, as you can hear, of um, pre K, kindergarten, and first grade. And ideally, I homeschool all my kids together, but with the kids that are that young, I would rather, and they need um, things tailored to their age group. So my problem lies in when I homeschool them, and I have weird postpartum hair stuff going on. When I homeschool them, and then when I homeschool the older kids. So um, yesterday I tried homeschooling the younger kids First, I did their morning basket and then they immediately wanted to do their independent work and then they wanted to do 10 lessons each of their independent work so we got started with the older kids later than I would like and then today the kids are arguing over who gets to do um, homeschool time with mom first so that's my dilemma and how I'm going to make everybody happy who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, we are on our second devotion. Devotion? <clears throat> yep, we are doing dogs on the job. Dogs on the mob. Dogs enjoy playing and running, digging in the snow, or catching a frisbee on a summer afternoon. Here's the verse that you told confused about. It's a great verse to memorize, isn't it? After all, everybody has trials. So James 1, 2 to 4. Yeah, good. Consider it all joy, my brethren, when you encounter various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces endurance and let endurance have its perfect result so that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. thought it was uh, a good time to be a class clown so that is definitely something that we're gonna have to work on we're gonna have to work on people randomly screaming and talking while I am doing morning time with other kids and that's just you know that's just part of the game here part of what we have to to work through and I know that and I know we'll get in a room eventually um, my plan is right now to do lunch and then to do um, independent work with the littles because we did not do their independent work yet and then nap time and while they're in nap I will uh, make sure the big kids get their independent work done and then um, that'll be that we might do the craft with the littles after their nap time and then we'll be done with our day hopefully my daughter does have Spanish today she does Spanish with homeschool Spanish Academy and she has her lesson, she does it once a week, and she has her lesson at 3 p.m., I think. So that'll be good. We'll get all of that done and out of the way. And another day of homeschool will be done. <laughs> 